Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, welcome to another Celebrating Act 2 vlog with my partner, John Coleman. How are you, John? Uh, good. Good to see you, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Mm. Art, home movies. I'm yes. Two word, home movies. Yes. Uh, so, I, by the way, I remember, speaking of which, uh, we once had a VHS camcorder. I don't think they called it a camcorder. And uh, we shot home movies on that. Didn't last too long uh, because it just sucked as a medium for recording yeah. stuff. And we just stopped yeah. there after a while. But we have a, a, a ton of 8 and Super 8 that probably go back to my childhood that my parents and some of their friends shot that are sitting in the garage. And... Um, It'd be, it'd be nice to get them in a format that uh, I could share with the family digitally. Yeah. And we've been thinking about format. it. format. Yeah. Which will last longer, too. Right. Film. Our films are in a bag somewhere. And, oh, bag. Uh, at, at, yeah, a carry bag. I don't know. Just mm -hmm. stuck up in the corner of the closet. At some point, I took um, probably six or eight of them and sent them to somebody to transfer them to VHS. Mm. Um. And we were never very happy with the VHS. Um, it's not a great recording medium, and uh, the quality wasn't very good. And it's certainly a great but, medium to have today, because I'm sure yeah. all your all your closest friends and uh, and children have uh, VHS recorders in the house. Oh yeah, sure, everybody's got it. In fact, even <laughs> let's face it, even DVDs are hard to come by anymore. Um, you know, everything's gone digital. So yeah, well, you know, uh, it's kind of fun, funny. I was a uh, uh, we have a bunch in our garage, and uh, they seem to be actually in fairly good shape. And we looked at one or two of them a couple of years ago on a, a Super 8 projector that we have sitting in the garage. And I've been looking at uh, things. There's a legacy box and uh, uh, Costco yeah. and others offer yeah, service. Yeah, I, I hear a lot about this. Stuff. Yeah. It's, it's, it's interesting because the digital age has given us a, the ability now to transfer all this old media Right. Uh, to a brand new media. Up, and boy, it'll last a lot longer, too. Yeah. And when you search online, there are even some of these uh, machines for two and three, up to $400 that let you convert at home. But um, I just, yeah. it's, it's, you know, it's an expertise that, uh, yeah, I'm sure we could do it. But I wonder uh, whether or not with the amount of uh, stuff that I have, does it even pay to get one of those? And maybe I should let somebody else do it at, let's say, Costco, uh, which right. has been advertising the service for years, and see what they can do with it and maybe let them have the hassle of cleaning them and prepping them sure. and getting them ready. Sure. Well, I think that's the advantage of going to Costco or Legacy Box or mm. the guy down the street. All the, all the photo stores used to you know, transfer films for you, your old movies. Um, and and I think the advantage is that you, you get it back. You get right. it back. You know it's going to work. Uh, if it screws up, they don't charge you. You know, you get your film back, but you don't get your digital. Right. Um, if you buy those machines on Amazon, you know, my guess is they all work. But if you don't, if, if you screw it up or you do it wrong, you have no recourse. Right. Well, yeah, I, rem I remember years ago, and, uh, and it was a worthy uh, activity we did. Uh, they they were advertised. There was one famous uh, one, I think called Go or something like that, that actually took VHS and converted it to DVDs. And wow. we had a ton of VHS stuff that uh, came from various sources, including uh, school plays and yeah. And games that were recorded by some third party that would sell them and deliver them on VHS. Yeah. And so we got all of them done and converted. Uh, actually, my wife did. She sat with the machine, put a VHS in one uh -huh. and the DVD yeah. in the other. And we must have converted about uh, 50 or 60 uh, VHS uh, tapes that we had that had personal stuff on it. It just seemed like an outrageous amount of stuff. Yeah, uh, and uh, this way we because that that that's not going to last very long, and again, who has a VHS player? Right, <laughs> right. Well, I'm I'm want to be around in thirty years when we look back and say, what are we going to do with all those old iPhone videos? You can't use them anymore. Right. I mean, everybody's just watching it from the chip that's plugged into your brain. 
So, uh, <laughs> right. So what are you going to do? Are you going to go to Costco or you're going to buy that machine? So are you going to first of all, I'm going to I'm going to do two things. I'm going to probably go to Costco and bring them because I have this like introductory offer, uh, uh, like three of the small reels for 20 bucks and uh, see what they do with it and then yeah. figure out how much stuff I have, uh, because I just something about these inexpensive three, four, five hundred dollar devices. First of all, you have to do the work. You have to prep it properly because I know they they clean the film and they set it up properly. Right. Uh, right. And, uh, you know, it's just sitting there doing it. Quite frankly, uh, I don't know that I have enough uh, film. I mean, uh, we were talking about doing something where we would share it, but I don't know yeah. that I have enough film to justify the cost of that. Uh, do you have a lot of VHSs? Uh, well, VHSs are now? done. It's a 35 millimeter, 8 millimeter. And I don't think I have that much of it. I think maybe I have a thousand feet altogether. And yeah. the going rate may be a, a 150 bucks or 200 bucks when all said and done to have Costco do it. And then I don't have any more. So unless I have somebody else that has a whole bunch of that stuff around that I could share the cost with. Uh, right. And then, you know, the ability of somebody else who knows what they're doing. To have them do it uh, might be just, you know, another burden that I don't have to, to worry about. Uh, That's interesting because I, way back when, um, in high school, uh, I was editing the 8 millimeter film, the family films. Mm -hmm. We shot our, you know, kids having fun in the 8 millimeter film. So we would edit it and make it into videos or, or films, short films. Um, and one of the things I didn't like about the VHS, we bought a VHS camcorder mm. just like you did, because uh, it was the new technology and seemed like a great idea. But I didn't like the idea that it was harder to edit. Right. Um, and now the digital um, age is easy to edit. Mm. You know, there's easy programs, cheap programs. Um, and people doing it on their smartphones. Uh, and, yeah. And getting good results. You know, it's exactly they understand what exactly. they want to do. So, so I would like to get everything into digital, um, but I don't. I don't want a DVD. I want the the MP4 files or the MOV files or those kinds of things. So I don't know. I might. I might look at those uh, machines that are on Amazon or wherever you buy them. I'll tell, I'll tell you what. Here's the deal. I'm going to probably bring a couple of reels, maybe three reels, down to uh, Costco, and yeah, let's see what they can do with it, and and then I'll estimate what it'll cost me to do the rest of them. And quite frankly, if we had enough between the two of us, maybe we could share a machine. Uh, but um, my, I think my decision point is going to be how much stuff do I really have? And right. do I have enough to justify half a machine and then give you half a machine? And then it sits in the garage with my VHS to DVD right. converter. For which, another 30 years. Which is yeah. standing on its side. And quite frankly, it's only real value to me is if I had a VHS to play so I could right. put it because you could also use it as a playback device. So, <laughs> so maybe, maybe our audience can help us out and uh, send us a Good note idea. if you've done this either with a service yeah. or with a um, uh, buying machine and doing it yourself, or you know somebody who's done that. So let us know. So in a week or two, uh, we should have back uh, the, the tests that I'm going to do over at Costco. And we'll share that with you, and maybe you can share with yeah. us your experiences. I, I would love your opinion, you being the people at home watching uh, Celebrating Act Two. I'd love to get your opinion if you've done this. You know what works, what it, what service did you use? Uh, and I'd love to hear from anyone, anybody who's bought one of those machines. By the way, uh, John, do I, I want to be more inclusive than you are because that's the kind of guy I am. Even if you haven't done this before and you don't have a clue and you don't care. OK, we'd like to hear from you after you subscribe to our channel because you're having so much fun watching us. So I'm yeah, OK. Sure. Just cram our mailbox with meaningless emails. Yeah, thanks. Art. That would That's be good. good. OK, well, no, I'll have them send it to John at instead of art at. Oh, OK. OK, because because that's the kind of guy I am. Anyway, here's by the way, here's the home movies. People are still taking them, but they're doing it with their iPhone now yeah. or their Blackberry, whatever. Yeah, by, the by the way, so the truth be known, Mr. Technology 
over here, my partner. Okay, for forever, forever, wouldn't get an iPhone. Okay, and he owns a lot of Apple stock. I mean that he's been investing <laughs> in for years. Okay, but refused to to overpay for this thing until I think it was your daughter said, "I'm not going to help you fix your smartphone anymore unless it's an Apple." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody in the family had an Android but me. Right. So. I had to I had to upgrade. Right. Well, you're an independent thinker. We know that. So anyway, email us. First of all, subscribe to Celebrating Act Two hmm. on YouTube. And then email us and let us know if you've got home movies sitting around like we do and what you're gonna do about it, or if you've already transferred them to digital. Let us know how it worked. So I will let you know how our test goes and uh, we look forward to hearing from all of you. Uh in the next couple of weeks so that we can make a final decision. Good, good. Thanks for watching. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.